Good evening, Dr. Ben. <laughs> We're all here again to celebrate you as always. And even if we celebrated you seven days a week, wouldn't be enough. Wouldn't be enough. So. What? What? I let them know. I brought you some juice. Do you drink wine, Dr. Ben? No. Okay, I'll have to take the wine back. Is it, is it, is it strong? Nah, it ain't that strong. But I don't. But I'll take it back. I'll drink it. It's strong. It's mellow. Where is it? <laughs> what wine? Bring in Dr. Ben wine, please. Last time I came, I brought Dr. Ben some fried shrimp. Dr. Ben, you still like fried shrimp? The Home cooking. Shrimp and potatoes. Yeah, we brought it to you and remember you were down in the bingo room? Yeah. You had one hand in the, with a shrimp and the other hand yeah. playing bingo. <laughs> <laughs> I came looking for Dr. Ben. I said, where's Dr. Ben? They said, he's down in the bingo room. So we went down there. It was me and um, Dr. Amani, she's uh, uh -huh, yes. Kato. She's yeah. from Philly. Yeah. She was a student of um, a Malefa Center. <laughs> yeah. the University. You remember her? Yeah. She came up here during her title we around. I'm Dr. Shaketo. <laughs> went back to the. Yep. Mm, yeah. 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 And she came up twice to see you with me. Mm hmm. So we brought Dr. Ben the fried shrimp, and Dr. Ben says, I want some hot sauce. Wow. <laughs> so we put the hot sauce on the shrimp, and Dr. Ben started coughing and carrying on. And, they, <laughs> and the, the shrimp smelled up the whole room. Everybody wanted to say, Dr. Ben, can we have some shrimp? And Dr. Ben was like this. <laughs> have to bring him some salmon bulbs mm -hmm. one day. Dr. Ben, I know you know this prayer. Yeah. And it, they have it copied, it's on page 88 of the Roman numeral of introduction to the Book of the Coming Forth by Wallace Budge. It says, Amasu en pa inter sauk su ement ra in pa inter ra awu tu awu ra makete pa heru ra. It says, Give yourself to the one most high. Keep yourself daily for the divine and do it tomorrow just as you do it today. As you know, Dr. Ben, that prayer was written by our ancestors who are now defamed as heathens and pagans. Thousands of years before Abraham, Moses, or Jesus, that prayer was written. So we want to thank you for what you have done to lead us to the, the, our ancient legacy. We are forever I, grateful. I, I, I joined the, uh, today the Hebrews in, in New York, but just as a group to be associated with, there's a railway that come here. No, he wasn't here. Oh. Yeah, no, no, no. Hailu no. Hi, Hi, Paris? Who? Hailu Paris. Hailu? Yeah. No. The black Jew. Oh yes, I've heard of him. Yes. Mm -hmm. he's, in, he's in the house home with like me. Oh, okay. In the same room. But he's the one that I do first. Mm. He he's been sequest too. Oh yeah, you knew him when you wrote We the Black Jews, right? Oh yeah. He been a I been a Jew up here. Right. He was there at the 123rd Street at that um, right. Uh, 238. Uh, 230 West 120th. Uh, 123rd Street. Yes. And then he come and he was done at 23rd. Mm. Uh, 23rd Street. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
It's an honor always to be in your presence, Dr. Mm -hmm. Remember, you ask for this in your book, yeah. <laughs> Black Seminaries and Clergy Without a Black Theology. Yeah. And it's 34 years <laughs> now since I put it in your hand, the Church of the Master in Harlem, remember? Yeah. Dr. Eugene Callender. Yes, Callender. That's right. St. Nicholas, yes. When by the corner and the right. mm -hmm. I'll never forget, it was one of the coldest days of the year. <laughs> and you came there, decked out, and remember, we put that robe of Ra on you, and we put the ankh in your hand because you yes. said it must be restored. And give thanks, I was able to do that for you. And still, Sister Alma Numsa John, remember her? Alma Numsa? Alma John, from, she was the first Alma, registered nurse. Yeah, she, she died. Yes. She was, she was, she was, uh, she was behind a radio program. Right. And, um, uh, oh yes. And then in 19, that, she got her onk in 1981. You got yours in 1980. And in 1982, John Henry Clark got his in, at the Per Ankh in Harlem. Then the 135 5th Street, John with his wife. Yes. She's a hundred and she's a hundred and thirty-five. Mm. We we're, were um, the company in Harlem. Mm -hmm. We know the business there. Oh, yeah, the bookstore. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Michelle's bookstore? Yeah, Michelle. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Michelle, you should be on the way the way the uh, Harlem House used mm -hmm. to be where, where, where they died the bush. Um, mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Ben, if you don't mind talking to us uh, today, uh, I don't know, the Spirit just laid it on my heart that we need our ancestors to kind of give us some direction, you know. And uh, so I, I, as as an elder and one who has really pioneered uh, in returning us to uh, to Egypt, to the greatness, to the civilization that our ancestors built in ancient time, yeah. how will us understanding what our ancestors accomplished in building those pyramids? How how will that help move us forward today? Well, you got to read the books. Mm -hmm. What they're speaking about, what they're talking about. Quincy Adobesi is doing it by going over where it is, but Quincy don't say one place and he, he I don't know. He got an argument with a uh, minister that equally doing it. Minister from Brooklyn. Mm. Um, Not Hagen. Hagen. Okay. He's Hagen. He's crazy. A Hagen have an argument. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's bad. That's mm. real bad. Crazy. Yeah. Um, and you, you yeah. know about that, Dr. Ben? What? Wow. Mm. Isn't that some small one? Crazy, Dr. Ben, the problem is, you have, brought, you have birthed many children. Mm. 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 And mm. the mm. children chosen are though. quarreling among themselves sometimes. Mm. Each one want to be the chosen one. Mm. But all of us have chosen to be chosen mm. by you. Mm. And it's an honor to even to be in your presence. Mm. You know, so I think that all of us are necessary. Many people are quarreling about 
this one's approach to that one's approach. But hmm, we need all of us yeah. to put the pieces of the body of Assad together again, hmm. our divine legacy. Hmm. Ain't none of us more important than the other. Each one of us bring a foot, a hand, <laughs> a finger That's right. to the gathering place. Collectively. Precisely. And that's the way it should be. Yeah, because those way he didn't I Dan Dan Clark what yes. we do. She's alive. Mm. At the bridge in a hundred and four thirty fifth street. Civil. 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 They're gonna honor her tomorrow. Tomorrow? At wow. Clark House. Wow. They're gonna honor her, Sister Keffer. I wish you could come. <laughs> well, you think we can get you out of here? If you could, if you, if you could carry me, you could ask permission now. I'll, I'll go down and ask, go down and, ask. and then I'll come get you tomorrow. Go down and ask. Okay, okay, yeah. They're going to her uh, and uh, Fanny Clark. Fanny Clark? <laughs> yes. She told her to tell you hello too. It was surprise them. Don't tell them anything in trip. They can't. They can't say no. They can't let that say go down. Go, go to death. You want me to go now? Yeah. <laughs> go, go okay. Who can handle this camera? Uh, you handle this camera. Let me go see if I can set this up. You you know how to how to film? Handle this camera. Nobody knows how. To. All right. Turn it off until come back up. You will ha you have a you have a date with us tomorrow. <laughs> but getting back to the question, what should we be doing today as a people? What do you think? Up to you. N we could do another thing here. No. The question I'm asking you, in terms of moving this liberation forward as African people. What is it that you feel, as an elder, we should be doing? Well, the apartment, which is my apartment, mm -hmm. I had that apartment for 40 years. Ruth took it and gave it to a mom. But we, it's her, her, her apartment. See? I do do. Mm. Well, Dr. Ben, I just to let you know, in my conversation with Omoro, he doesn't see the apartment as belonging to him. It is your apartment that he is he is just staying in it just to um safeguard certain things because he feels that some of your things were removed, perhaps not necessarily by root but things that were just, you know, people who wanted to be helpful to you, sometimes some felt that some of them may have some stick, clothes, sticky fingers. My clothes? Your clothes are still, um, Amora told me your clothes are still in the closet. The robe that I made for you in 1980 is still in there. There's a black robe that I have on it. It's still in your closet there. The ankh that I made for you, which you used to have on the wall, we don't know where that is. I'm going to ask Ruth. I'll give her a call and ask if she has it. But Omoro, he doesn't see the apartment as belonging to him. He's seeing it as just holding it for you because there was talk about the possibility of you trying to come back to your home. I want to turn down this is the key. When? Yeah, I know. When? They don't when know. When can he go home? Well, then a man of his caliber shouldn't be in a nursing home. But you would need to have 24-hour care for Dr. Ben. That's why we and need to organize to... And I you need to somebody to come there and make sure that I see Ben all right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That. He come make sure my am safe. I don't go go nowhere in the night. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So yeah. I will speak with her. I'll, I'll ask Omora for her number and I will give her a call and see what is being done. You know? But now Omoro is going to have to run from me because he, 
He's been pulling the wool over my eyes now. And me trying to help Dr. Ben's nephew. <laughs> Hundreds of dollars. Wow. Mm. Ben Brown send his love to you. Ooh. Yes, yes. Him and his wife Gail, who represented Al Sharpton yeah. and Maddox and Mesa. Mm. Yes. You want to say hi to him? <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir. I him tomorrow. Brother, brother, I go see you tomorrow. I hope. Yeah, I don't think he'll be able to make it. Yeah. Dr. Ben was... Dr. Ben was saying he hoped he'll see tomorrow because they take, they're going to pick him up and take him up to Clark House where, where Dr. Clark's wife, um, Sybil, they're going to be honoring her tomorrow, you know. What time is it, Mr. Brown? Tomorrow at Clark's House. I think it's three. Hour. It's around three o'clock, they said, in the afternoon. Anyway, I'm going to get information, and if you want to go, I will give you the information from Minister Brown, okay? Okay, well, we'll see. I'll talk to you later, my brother. Okay, bye-bye now. Hotel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this man, he, he worked with uh, Jim Brown, you know, the, the, the brother, the football hero. Yeah, and they formulated this uh, thing for young boys called American. Right. They used to work through the schools to help to rescue these young black youth. Yeah, and, um, but now they have to have... Big brother. Yeah, right. But they've had trouble getting fun. But Jim Brown, he's a real stand-up black man. You know, him and Walter Beach. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, so, Dr. Uh, man, I just wanted to get on film. You say you know Abraham? I knew him. I knew him when Kwame Nkrumah was alive. Ah. I was in Ghana. And when Kuma was alive, then maybe a plant of Africa. Then, then, where a light of the African girl, a black staff house. Black staff house, right? Ah! Oh, so y'all go back many years. I was in the Young Pioneers Movement, the Kuma's uh, Brigade. Oh, the I students. Uh, yeah. Uh, they enlightened us about capitalism and all that. And barbarism. <laughs> Capitalism is nothing but barbarism. <laughs> That's what Sheikh Khadija Diop said. That's right. right. He said it right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dankwa. Yes. Dankwa. Yeah. Dankwa. That's all. That's it. I know the. I've been there. I've been to go to Africa. Yes. Well, then I have money. Then I have to help the people. And if you could pay your trip. You could have food I take out here. Don't worry about it. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is really <laughs> something else. That's in '57, wasn't it? That's when right. Kuma was '57. Yeah, Kuma Independence. You got a fantastic memory, uh, Doctor Ben. Man, I don't forget the past. I know something. I wow. don't forget it. Now, how old are you again? 96. 96? That's right. His memory is better than some young fellows. I know. <laughs> <laughs> he made 96 last, last December, December 31st. December 31st. Yes. Yeah. So he's going 97. Wow. This coming year. This coming year. 97. Brother, he's 96 and a quarter. He'll be more now. than a hello? centurion. Right, right. Yeah, hello?